Hello and welcome to our course about the infrared remote control. Yeah. Infrared remote control, very usual. Yeah. We have one in our box. This is looking that way. Yeah. Every infrared remote control has somewhere an IR red infrared LED yeah, at the at one end. This is where the signal comes out. On the other end, we need some IR receiver. We also have one in our box. Looks like this. This is our IR receiver. Okay. There are three pins on this IR receiver. They are marked with G for ground. The R is plus and Y is the signal. Okay. That's it. Every every remote control, almost every remote control, uh, is, is working that way. Yeah. Of course, this is a very cheap model. Uh, we'll see if this is if this is working. Sometimes the batteries inside are dead. There is this small little battery inside. Sometimes they are dead, but usually they are working. Yeah. We'll see if this does. Yeah. We will then also try this with one remote control. I just got out of my drawer here. This one. It's from my small radio here. Bluetooth radio where I couple my PC and flash me with some good music from time to time. We'll see. You also see this IR LED there. Well, we'll see if this is working with our Arduino. Let's start the hardware. I mean, there are three cables. This should go very fast. This time I'm using this, this type of, of jumper cable where I can directly plug it in. So at G, there is the ground. At R, there is the plus. And then there is the signal. Okay, so let's plug it in, unto, in our Arduino. Ground is black, it's going to G and D, white is plus, this is going to 5 volts. And then there is the signal, and the signal needs to be to an I.O. pin. I'm using here pin number 5. I will need this afterwards in my program. The breadboard. Puff. For this I don't need it, it's just the Arduino. It's just the Arduino with my IR receiver. And it's, of course, the cables got their own, own nerves. Always, 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 always. Let's see. Ah, plug it in. Pimpy limb working. There's some red light on on my on my receiver. Uh, nothing is getting hot, so it seems to be correct. What I've done. This is the RR remote control, and that's our hardware setup. Not too complicated. Okay. Next time. The next thing we're next time. Next time we're doing something else. This time, next thing we are doing, we take care about the software. Save it under a perfect name. Keeping, keeping the naming convention. And that's not a 33rd, 33rd program. And this is, I will call it IR remote. Okay, last time I told you if it looks complicated, then please try to find a library. Yeah? I tell you 
decoding this thing is not that easy, yeah? So I've looked up a library for you. We are going to use the library IR Remote. Yeah? This again we have to install with our library manager, manage libraries. IR Remote. There it is. I will install it. Install as usual, going very fast. We can use it. IR Remote. The thing with IR Remote is that we can even, even send things. We cannot just receive codes, we can also send codes. What this means, I will explain during this video. Include irremote.h. Yeah? And then, of course, we need, I'm always defining this with the cobaldam constant, er data pin, and this was 5. Okay? And you should also get used, you are already uh, used to it, this irremote.h, this is defining some, some objects, some types. Yeah. One object is called uh, IR receive. Yeah. And this is a receive object receive object and I would have to pass the data pin. Okay, this is how it is used. Here this receive object I can use afterwards to get the data from my IR receiver here. Huh? And then there is also a new type, this is called decode results. Decode results, yeah. and it's called IR data. Okay, IR data. If we open, if we open the IR, IR remote library. Yeah. And look up yeah, on the source the uh, riremote.h. We can see those those stuff. Yeah, I've I've showed you the code results. You see, there is an address. There's a value. There's a magnitude. There are a lot of things which can be accessed yeah we are interested in the value afterwards okay so this the code results is a class and we are accessing the member value yeah. make it a little bit bigger bigger so that you can read it okay this is this decode results and there's also this class IR receive, and you see the IR receive constructor, so called constructor, need this receive pin. Yeah. And there's even a blink pin, so that we could we could uh, use a, a flashing, flashing, I mean, you see it often on, on TV sets and so on, that the LED is blinking as soon as an IR code is received. This would be this. Yeah. Okay, and we also use the decode thing. Yeah. Good. Uh, let's go further. Let's go further. I will keep this here. Yeah. I'll keep this here. These are the two things we we need to to do. Yeah. We will start again with serial. 
communication and again with 9600 because that's the default portrait here and I will write IR remote decoder so this should be printed once it's ready now I need to enable enable the receiving from the from the receive object I call enable IR in this is just setting the receive object the, the receiver ready hey listen to the receiver okay in the loop in the loop we do have if yeah, and then again receive object and then there is the method decode yeah, and we need to give the IR data please mind please mind that there is a little plus sign what does this plus sign mean? this IR data you see it's a class of different different information yeah that's a pretty big chunk of memory there it's not unusual big but it's big yeah so if we pass it now if we pass it now to this function to the code function we would get a copy of this memory piece of memory okay everything which is in RR data is copied and then I have a copy of this RR data in my function decode okay this and here means I'm not really passing the data I'm only passing the address of the data where the data can be found it's just it's a so-called pointer and the pointer is pointing to exactly this point to the beginning to the beginning of the data structure okay it's just some memory address where in the memory this IR data can be found so I do not have to copy the whole data I just tell the memory and say hey it's at that point in the memory yeah? look there there it is yeah? and these pointers in memory are four bytes yeah? and this is much smaller than this this is why this was chosen here to pass it as a pointer okay? pointers are very usual in C++ uh, it's not always easy to deal with them yeah? but this end sign here is mandatory okay it's not just because it looks prettier and then we do something what do we do yeah. I will write again my own my own function I will code I will call it decode IR yeah. so if something was decoded I will code my function decode IR yeah, and then I will resume the receiving this you also have to call that we are ready for the next code okay this means we have to tell somehow okay we've noticed we have some some code we received some code yeah received some code we handle this code please resume give us the next code okay so that's it that's basically it for the loop what to decode I'll do it in a switch statement switch statement uh, will switch through the possible dates and I will take this IR data which are written in by this decode function at this at this point here at this point in memory 
take the CR data and I will look at the value. Okay, answered long value. This is the value. And this one I want to look. Yeah. Then there's of course the default. Default value. Yeah. The default value. I will just print out serial dot print line print line serial dot print line unknown code. This is if we don't if we don't know the the data okay which we are receiving the value which we are receiving and I can tell you there is one there's one data I know this is this FFA25D in hexadecimal format this indicates as hexadecimal and this is the value so this is the shows hexadecimal and this is the value and this is serial dot write it in the next line because then it looks much prettier print line and this is the power button on the, our remote control okay break if we do know other codes we can just fill in it there so let's download upload <laughs> I will never learn upload open the serial monitor IR remote controller I will press the power button power great All everything else is an unknown code. It seems like this this uh, remote is working. I will take my Philips remote. There, there seems to be a different code, but at least there is written unknown code. Yeah. The thing here you now is that this code, there is a pulse sequence. Maybe this is an error. Ah, you see? In the camera you can see even a little bit flashing. And this flashing here, this means it's sending something. So the camera's eyes are sensitive to IR signals. And depending on the frequency which this IR uh, which this LED is flashing, eh? depending on the frequency, we receive another code. It's not only the frequency, there is a little bit more behind. And this code is received by the IR receiver, and this code is decoded by our library, and this library tells us the value which was decoded. Eh? So every button press gives another value. If this value, we don't know this value, it's just written there unknown code. This does not mean our uh, IR remote has not properly decoded. It has not been properly decoded. It just means we don't handle the code. Okay. There is also the possibility with this IR remote that you send codes. Yeah? There's also the possibility that you send codes. If you have an IR LED, yeah? you could, for instance, program the, the Arduino so that it automatically, if you press a button, that you automatically give a series of code to your entertainment system. Yeah? That the TV is turned on, that the I don't know, the, the fire stick is turned on or whatever, whatever things you need to stream your favorite 
the receiver is turned on, that you can ex have explosive total surround sound. And so you could even send these codes, if you know the codes, uh, of this of this uh, different elements. Yeah, you can send these codes also. Of course, you need an IR IR uh, LED, but you know how to to plug in an LED. This is would be possible with this IR remote. Yeah? So your task, your task is. All buttons of this remote control, they shall be recognized by, your, by the program. Okay? All buttons, so if you press power, power, if you press volume up, volume up, if you press play pause, it should read, read, write play pause. You have to find out somehow the codes of the buttons. Okay? It's easily possible with the with the program we just wrote yeah? and then you have to extend the program. This is how it should look like. Yeah? So you can press every button, power, volume plus, function, previous, next, play, down, up, volume minus, zero, one, two, two, th three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there is equal, and start and repeat. So all buttons on my remote control are giving the correct response. Okay. Yeah. So this is your task. Next time, we're going to talk about stepper motors. Yeah? We will control again a motor. Yeah? Maybe in combination with the IR remote or not. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.